Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Dresden plate circle. I'm going to show you how it can be done without any raw edges like so, and it's all turned under. So let's get started on how to make a Dresden plate circle. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the inside circle of a Dresden plate i have this particular ruler i am not paid nor sponsored to create this video it is the creative grids dresden plate ruler and as you can see it is an 18 degree circle segment ruler it's really good i highly recommend it i'm not sponsored just like i said and it comes in two parts so it comes with the wedge for the dresden plate and it also comes with a circle template now in the instructions they tell you that they want you to cut out another piece so in this dashed line here is how big that this circle is going to be the outside line is where we're going to cut the actual fabric so you have to cut the inside circle to match that's there and then just around here is generally like i think it's a quarter of an inch so i did get my husband to do this particular template we used a compass and we just got it right like this here and then created that circle and we created this just out of just regular cardboard i think this was a piece of cardboard that was on the back of a notepad so I take a piece of fabric that is just a little bit bigger than the actual circle and then we're just going to use a pen to mark a circle around this outside edge. It really doesn't matter what kind of pen that you use because you're going to be cutting around it and you really won't see the ink anyway. So I'm going to use a nice black marker so you can see what I am doing and I'm just going to mark all the way around this circle dresden plate template for our dresden plate circle it's going to go all the way around just make sure that you do the whole circle so you know exactly where to cut and that is it so i'm going to lift the dresden plate circle off of our fabric and then we're going to cut this circle out so i've got some nice sharp scissors here and i'm going to cut around this Dresden plate circle and you kind of want to be kind of exact just follow along the lines that you drew and go all the way around cutting that circle I always find that a bigger pair of scissors is much better than a smaller pair because you're not having to stop and like cut things all the time and it's much more smoother to use a bigger pair of scissors so i'm going to cut all this around and that is done the next thing you're going to need is a hand sewing needle i know i know we don't like to do this hand stitching but you are going to need a hand sewing needle for this next part and you're going to place this on top so if you've ever done like yo-yos um, uh, when you work with yo-yos you basically do a basting stitch all the way around the outside of the fabric so almost just a little bit under where this black mark is you're going to do a hand stitch all the way around the fabric because basically what we're going to do is gather all of this fabric up and make our dressed and plate circle so we're basically hiding all of the raw seams of the fabric because you don't want to put this on top of your dressed and plate like this because it's going to fray i mean it kind of has that kind of farmhouse vintagey look if you do that if that's the kind of idea that you're going with but if you want all of your edges to be really nice and turned on there then this is how you're going to do it so you're going to place your template on top you're going to go ahead and get your hand sewing needle and some thread i'm just going to use some regular polyester thread so i'm going to use a piece of black thread so you can see what i'm doing you're going to use some thread that either matches your project or you can use white just something that doesn't quite stand out so much as black so i'm going to show you how i start this off i want to get that knot secured so the knot does not come 
through as we're doing that basting stitch. So just go in and out of my project work a few times and then you can just leave some thread at the top there and when you come back through you can go through that loop and secure it into place so it kind of knots it up and then come back through again and then you're just going to start doing a basting stitch all the way around your project so you're just going to go in and then out in and then out and the stitches don't have to be tiny see how big mine are it's literally a basting stitch and you can see how far i'm doing it from the top so you're just going to go all the way around now i know that i am nowhere near that piece of cardboard by the way so you can put the piece of cardboard in if you like I just find it just easier just going around my circle piece just like this and then I will put that cardboard piece in right at the end so I'm not juggling the fabric, my needle and my cardboard piece. As you can see I've sewed all the way around here and I am going to want to just place my cardboard cutout on top here. And then basically you're going to cinch in your threads like so and then you're going to get it to lie flat and you're better off to tie off at the top here because it's going to keep on moving about you're just going to tie it off you're going to do exactly what you did at the beginning and just make a knot at the top here so once you tie this off, I highly recommend that you take this over to the iron and press. It just helps to press down everything down here and it creates a nice crease going around. So when you take it off this cardboard, it will have this nice pressed piece and then you can press it again. So I'm going to take this over to my iron and press. And obviously you don't have to press it for so long. There is a piece of cardboard in there, so you don't want to like burn it or anything. So, and then you can ease this off gently and then just pull that cardboard through. And then once it's popped out, you can take it to the iron again and just press it again. And I'll also show you the back real quickly. This is what it looks like on the back. This is what it looks like on the front. So there you have that inside circle for your Dresden plate. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to show you a couple of projects just before I go on what you can actually do with these Dresden plate um, projects. These are a couple of some project examples of what you can do with a Dresden plate. This is just doing a quarter of a Dresden plate. And obviously this one is done in a double fashion as well and you'll need five at least to go around the quarter here and then this one here is done in four and there's different sizes of this Dresden plate as well don't forget so you can make things bigger or smaller now this is a full Dresden plate circle and this circle is exactly the same size as what we've just created here like so so you can make them whatever colours that you want. It's a really good design to work with.